Okay, so today you're going to be creating a line chart, and I'm, I've already got the data in place. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the formatting of it. So we're going to click cell A1, even though you see it um, flowing over to cells B and C, all the content is in cell A1. So that should be 16 point font. And as you can see, everything here in the document is Arial 10 point font. Okay, I'm going to select row 3. Well, I'm going to select cells A3 to D3. I'm going to bold them and underline them. So now I'm going to format the column width. Column A, I'm going to left click, right click, go to column width. I'm going to make that 10 point, and then that should be left aligned. Column B, left click, right click, column width, that is going to be 22. And this should be left aligned as well. Column C, left click, right click, that should be 25, and that should be left aligned. Column D, left click and right click, and that one should be 20. And that one should be centered. Okay, so now we're going to create a line chart. We're going to select cells B3 to B11. We're going to press the control key on the keyboard. It doesn't matter which one. There are two of them, so you choose. Then you're going to select from D3 to D11. Now we're going to click the insert ribbon. We're going to go down over here. We're going to choose the line charts. I don't want these because you know they're just kind of there. I want it to have the markers. And the reason I chose these two data is this is defining which year and this is the number of competitors. Like this is which Special Olympics. So we're going to choose the first one which is um, line with data markers. I'm going to move it right over here under my data. Okay, so it defaults to the name of number of competitors. You're going to change this to Summer, summer Olympics Competitors. All right. So now we're going to define the axis labels. So I've selected the chart. I click the um, chart elements, axis titles. Okay, so I'm going to format this one. Um, which one do I put first? Summer Olympics. And this one, we're going to change to number of competitors. Okay, so here we have our chart. Now what you can see from the chart, you can look at the analysis and you can see it. Uh, one thing, well, we're going to do a couple more things first. We're going to change the legend to be to the right of the chart. Well, there is no legend. So we're going to save this spreadsheet. because we don't want to lose our work. Please save it um, to Google Drive. Be sure it saves to Google Drive before you um, X out of it. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of formatting. So we're going to change the background color of the chart area. And we're going to do that by right clicking. We're going to fill it we're going to choose a two color gradient. So we're going to click gradient. We're going to do some fun things with it. So we're going to go to light variations. We're going to go to more gradients. Okay, so when you click gradient fill over here, it gives you a choice to choose gradients. So we're going to choose the first color is blue. And the second color is, well, let's change it. This first color should be blue. And the second color is peach. So just any shade yellow. And then that one little color there we're going to take out. Because it defaulted to three colors, 
I only wanted two colors, just the blue and the beach. So you see how it fades it here, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to change the background of the plot area. So we're clicking the plot area. We're going to right click it. Um, so the plot area should be peach, which is just any color that you think is peach. Um, the font size of the chart title to 20 point bold. Gonna go here, and we can do it. Let me that. We're gonna do it right up here. Make it 20 point and bold. Um, and then the font size of the X and Y axis titles to 14 point. So there's that one. I'm going to move it a little bit down. Okay. This one. Select all the text. And then I said 14 point. Okay, and I'm going to move that out just a smidgen. Because it's kind of crowded up there a bit. Okay, so change the text alignment um, to 90 degrees for this. So for the horizontal axis, we're going to right click it. We're going to go to format the axis. Where the text action is. We're going to go to alignment. We're going to change it to rotate all text 90 degrees. We're going to flip it the other way. So it will be 270 degrees. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to make our chart a little bit bigger. There we go. So it all fits together nicely and neatly. And you can clearly see that this data point belongs to the Special Olympics here. Okay, so when it's formatted, your chart should look something similar to this. So now you should insert your header. Um, I'll go over it in case you're not sure. Let's like this. I, all I did is change the page layout. So in the left hand side, you're going to put um, bar chart, sorry, line chart. You're going to press enter, and then you're going to put your student names. I hope that that's supposed to be correctly. Okay, in the center, you're going to put Summer Olympics. And in the right, you're going to put today's date. If you don't type in the date, we're going to be smarter and have it do the date for us. Now we're going to go down to the bottom, and we're going to click, go back to the design ribbon, and we're going to click each number. Okay? So it's very, very important that you proof it, make sure it looks okay, save your work. Then you must save it as a PDF. So you'll go to File, Save As, Browse, wherever it is you're going to save it. You're going to click under Save As Type. You're going to change it to PDF, which is down there a smidgen. You'll click Save. And then it's going to pop up like this. So when you submit it, this is what you should see when you submit it. It should look um, identical to this. So you should see your header and you should see your footer when you submit this. So don't forget when you upload this, you should also include your um, analysis. So when you look at this chart, what do you see? I'm going to go back to this one. So you can see that the Summer Olympics, and I'm so bad at reading Roman numerals, this Summer Olympics, the um, competitors really weren't very good, but it kind of hit a peak on competitors from years XXVI to XXVIII. And then it started to increase again from XXX. So there will be 10, 20. I'm so bad at that. IVX. So you can just, you can see that they've had a steady increase in their number of competitors, but they kind of peaked from here to here, and they have a slight decrease, slight increase here. So there's a lot of ways you can analyze this chart here. 
So please be sure you do your analysis, upload it as a PDF, and I hope you have a great day.